Gone, gone. The brethren brought it out mighty, man. You know what I'm saying? Our people don't want to hearken to the words of life, man. Bring that out. Always come up here trying to scoff, trying to bring their own doctrine, trying to speak all manner of wicked philosophies, man. Right? Yo, let me get the book. Yo, first of all, we got to come back to the Most High God, man, and repent. You know, that's the reason why we out here. We out here for our people, man. The Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, man. God's chosen people, right? The Lord ain't dealing with everybody, man, right? In the year 2023, if you didn't know, the Lord ain't dealing with all nations, man. The Lord is only dealing with his people, right? The nation of Israel, right? Give me the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and 14. I want to open with that, man. God, because everybody in the Lord's people, man. Bring that out. This is the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out. If my people, if what? If my people, if who? If my people. Who's the Lord's people, man? Right? Give me the book of Exodus chapter 1. So give me the book of Exodus chapter uh, 3 and verse 10. Give me the book. Give me the book of Exodus chapter 5 and verse 1. Whoever got it first. This is the book of Exodus chapter 5 and verse 1. Bring it out. And afterwards, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, God of Israel. God of Israel. The God of who? God of Israel. No, the God of everybody. God of Israel. The God of Israel, man. He ain't the God of everybody. Bring that up. Book of Exodus chapter 10. Verses 3, verse 10. Come now, therefore I will send thee into Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel. Who? The children of Israel. He says to bring forth my people, the children of Israel, man. Not everybody, because everybody in the Lord's people, man. Give me the book of... of First Samuel chapter 2 and verse 29, man. Bring that in the book of Romans chapter 9 and start from verse 7, King. This is the book of First Samuel chapter 2 and verse 29. Bring it out. Wherefore, keep ye at my sacrifice and at my offering, right? which I have commanded in my habitation and honor is thy son above me, right? to make yourself fat with the with the chiefest of all offerings right? of Israel, of my what? people. Of, who? of, of Israel, Israel, my, my people. people. Of Israel, my people, man. You got that, King? Book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 10. Verse 7. Neither because they are they are the seed of Abraham. Neither because what? Neither, Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Abraham. Right, so not because you come out of Abraham, man. Read. Are they all my children? Are they what? Are, Are they, they all, all my, my children? children? But what? But in Isaac. But in who? But, but in Isaac. Isaac. Shall what? Shall they see be called? That what? Shall they see be called? Give me the book of Genesis chapter 17 and let me get start from verse 15. We about to get a history lesson, man. Right? Because the Lord ain't dealing with everybody, man. Yeah. Let's see who the children of God are, man. Bring that out, King. Give me the book of uh, Genesis chapter 22 and start from verse 18. This is the book of Genesis chapter 17 and verse 15. Bring it out. And God said unto Abraham, right? As for Sarai, thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. Right? And I will bless her and give thee a son also of her. Right? Yeah, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. Read. Kings of people shall be of her. Read. Then Abraham fell upon his face, and laughed, and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? Right, because Abraham chuckled, man. Sarah was 90 years old. He was laughing like, Lord, how is she going to get pregnant? Read. And shall Sarah... That is 90 years old. Man. And Abraham said unto God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. Right, because Ishmael was the firstborn. Read on. 
and God said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son in thee, right? and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And thou shalt call his name what? And thou, thou shalt call his name Isaac. Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him. Now he's going to establish his covenant with everybody. And I will establish my covenant with him. Read, bring that up. Genesis 22 and verse 18. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because thou hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto his young men. And they rose up and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham saying, Behold, Milcah. She has also born children right. unto thy brother Nahor. Right. Huz, his firstborn, and Booz, his brother. Right. And Kemuel, the father of Aram, and, che and Cheese, and Hazel, and Pildash, and Jithlaf, and Bethuel. And Bethuel begat Rebekah. These eight, these eight, uh, Milk. Hold, hold that, King. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 26, and verse 1. Read it out. And there was a famine in the land. Right. Beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. Right. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, right. king of the Philistines, unto, unto Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land, wait, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Right. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee. Read. And will bless thee. For unto thee and unto thy seed, right. I will give all these countries. And unto thy seed will I give all these countries, man. And I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham, thy father. Right. So who was the Lord talking to? He was talking to Isaac, man. Give me the book of Genesis chapter 28 and start from verse 1, King. Book of Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. From the top. And Isaac called Jacob and blessed him. Right. And charged him. So, so you had Abraham speaking to Isaac, and now Isaac is speaking to Jacob, man. Read that. Charged him and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Right. Arise, go to Padam Aram, to the house of Bethuel, thy mother's father. Right. And take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban, right. thy mother's brother. And God Almighty bless thee, and make thee fruitful, and multiply thee. That and that, Salaki, that thou mayest be a multitude of people, right? And give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee, and what? And give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee, right? So the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, then Abraham passed that covenant down unto Isaac, and now Isaac is passing that covenant down unto Jacob, man. Finish that, and to thy seed with thee that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, which God gave unto Abraham. Right. So go back to Romans chapter 9 and verse 7. Bring that up. This is the book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 7. Bring it up. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Like, like we just read, man. Abraham had Ishmael and Isaac, but the Lord said he was going to make a covenant with with Isaac, man, wow. right? And Isaac made a covenant with who? Jacob. With, with Jacob, right? Read. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Read. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. Right, so everybody else that came of Abraham, the children of the flesh. These are not the children of God. These are what? These are not the children of God. Now the Lord loves everybody. These are not the children of God. The Gentiles can be saved. These are not the children of God. Read. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Right. The children of the promise are counted for the seed, man. Read that in verse 4. Jump to verse 4. Let's see who the promises are for. 
Verse 4. Who are the Israelites? Who are what? Who, who are, are the Israelites? Israelites? To whom pertain if the adoption. Right, the adoption. And the giving. And the glory. The kingdom. And the covenant. And the covenant, old and new covenant. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. Because the laws were only given to the Israelites, man. Right. The laws of God wasn't given to all nations, man. Right? right? Read that. And the service of God. The priesthood. And the promises. And the what? And, and the, the promises. promises. Like we just read in verse 8, man. Jump back down to verse 8. Verse 8. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. Right? These are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Right, because the children of the promises are the Israelites, like we read in verse 4. Continue. For this is the word of the promise. At the same, at this time I will come, and Sarah shall have a son. So Sarah's going to have a son. And not only this. But what Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by the father Isaac. Right, so Abraham had, uh, what's going on? Well, there's no such thing as black Israelites. We're the Israelites. It's just Israelites. Black is a color, and we don't teach color up here, right? Because we're not black people, man. We're different shades of brown, right? That's a misinformation that has been spread across the earth for generations, right? Oh, let me answer your question. So, when you read the scriptures, the, the Lord rose up a chosen nation of people. There, do you know who that nation is? The Israelites. Let me get that in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 1. Bring it up. Salakia, Deuteronomy 1 and verse 1. Bring that up. This is not a religion. This is our culture. This is our history. Right? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it up. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. No, unto everybody. Unto all Israel. Right. So the Lord raised up Moses to speak to the children of Israel. Let's see what Moses told the children of Israel. Go to chapter 7 and verse 6. Chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it up. For thou art an holy people. So thou art an holy people. Holy means separate. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Right. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Now nah, men has chosen us. The Lord thy God has chosen thee right? to be a special people right? unto himself. What? Above, above all, all people. Above all people. Now nah, equal. Above all people. Above all people. Right. So the Israelites were made above all people, man. That are upon the face of the earth. On the entire planet earth. Right? So that throws equality out the window, man. Because the Lord didn't create all nations to be equal, man. Let me get the book of Sirach, chapter 33, and verse, start from verse number 10. What's your shirt say? Right. Ask him a question, man. Go ahead. Right, because we rock the fight. We had all the jewelry, man. As God's chosen people, our inheritance is the whole planet Earth, man. Right. Let me get that in Second Ezra chapter six and verse start from verse fifty-four. Bring that out. This is the book of Sirach. Chapter 33 and verse 10. Back up. Back up. He got a question. He got a, he's sincere. He's sincere. He got a question. Wait, 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 wait. And all men are from the ground. You good. You good. You good. It's because you stepped on the All men are of the ground. Right? Read. Yeah, you did. In much knowledge, the Lord has divided them and made their ways diverse. In much knowledge, the Lord has divided us and made our ways diverse. Read. 
Some of them has he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified and set near himself. Right. But some of them has he cursed and brought low. Some of them he what? Has he cursed and brought low. Right. So the Israelites have been exalted above all nations on the earth, and every other nation he brought them low, man. Right. Give me that in Second Ezra chapter six and read verse fifty-four. Book of Second Ezra chapter six verse fifty-four. Right. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, right. of him come we all. Right, because we all came from Adam, right? And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the what? And, and the, the people, people also who thou hast thou chosen. chosen. Right, we just read that in Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Let me get Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 1, King. Read. 55. All this have I spoken before thee, right. O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. He did what? He made us the world for our sake. Nah, he made it for everybody. He made us the world for our sake. The Lord made the world for the Israelites' sake, man. The Lord didn't create everything for all people, man. Right? Bring that out, King. God. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44, and verse 1. Bring it up. Let me move Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, right? And Israel, whom I have chosen. Who? And Israel, whom I have chosen. Now everybody's chosen. And Israel, whom I have chosen. Right, so the Lord chose Israel, man. To be the special people that are above all nations upon the earth, man. Everybody's not equal in the sight of the Lord, man. Give me the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 12, man. Bring that out. Let's see what the Lord thinks about these other nations, man. Bring it up. Finish that. As for the other people. As for what? As, As for, for the, the other people. people. That what? Which also come from Adam. Read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Now they are somebody. That they are nothing. Now we love them. That they are nothing. That they are nothing, man. But what? Be like unto split. Let be like unto split. Right? The Lord doesn't love everybody, man. Every other nation is like spit, man. Read that, kid. Teach up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, and verse 12. Who has measured the water, the waters in the hollows of his hand and meted out heaven with, with the spirit. Second Ezra chapter six, verse fifty seven. Verse fifty seven. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathens which have ever been reputed. Has as nothing right. have begun to be lords over us. Right, because the Israelites started to transgress the ways of the Most this High and stop walking in the laws, statutes, and commandments, the Lord made these other nations rulers over us. Right? Have begun to have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn. Thy only begotten right. and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. If the world now be made of our for our sake, right. why do we not possess an inheritance? Like, like they look at us like, why these niggas? Why these niggas look like this, man? We're like a, a spectacle and an astonishment to these other nations, man. Right. They walk around and look at us like we a bunch of niggas, man. Right. Uh, Especially the so-called white man. That's right. The same people that rape, rob, and murder us has the nerve to call us savages, man. Right. Has the nerve to call us niggas, man. That we inhu inhumane. Right. Who's more inhumane than the so-called white man, woman, and child, right. man? Nobody. They're literally walking around on stolen property right. as we speak. Right. Walking around so prideful, man. Right. And we try to tell them that, look, that we're God's chosen people, but they can't see it, man. They, right. they think we but we a bunch of niggas, man. Right. Didn't they say we was less than two-thirds of a human? Right. Right? That we good for nothing, a bunch of wetbacks, right. spicks. Niggas, Teach 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 
Right. right, they was whipping our packs in the slave fields, man. Right. Then we was picking cotton from sun up till sundown, man. Right. And that's oh, where right. the white man wants us, man. He wants us down low with his damn foot on us, man. Damn. You feel me? But the most high God is saying that we're the greatest people on the earth, man. Damn. And you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans need to come back to your true identity right. as the nation of Israel. That's right. right, give me, go back to Second Chronicles chapter 7 and 14, King. Bring that up. This is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter seven and verse fourteen. Bring it up. If my people, if my people, we we identified who God's people are, the children of Israel, which are called by my name. Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter forty-eight and verse twelve. Shall humble themselves. Shall what? Shall, Shall humble, humble themselves. The Lord wants us to humble ourselves, man. We got to be meek in these last days, man. You can't be prideful. You got to humble yourself down. The Lord raised the prophets to come out here and teach you your history, man. Something that you ain't going to learn in the goddamn white man's schools, man. In their education, your, our damn history started in 1619. Right. You know that we're God's on earth, brother? Nah, he don't know. Bring, Bring that, that out. Bring that out. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 12. Right Hearken unto me, O Jacob. O oh, who? O oh, oh, Jacob. Right? And Israel. And who? And, and Israel. Israel. Right? My call. My what? My, my call. call. My what? My, my call. call. Right, the Lord has called us, man. What did he call us to do? <laughs> verse 14. If my people, right. which are called by my name, right. shall humble themselves. Shall what? Shall humble, humble themselves. Right, so we got to humble ourselves, man. Give me the book of Matthew chapter 18 and verse number 5, man. Bring Give me the book of Matthew chapter 23 and verse number 12, I believe. Book of Matthew chapter 18 and verse number 5. Bring it out. And who, whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Verse 4. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child. As what? As this little child. We got to be a little children in this thing, man. Like newborn babes, man, as the scripture says. Because when you look at a child, man, I know a lot of you have children out here, man. Whenever you speak to your child, they listen to you, man. That's how the Lord wants us to be. He wants us to humble ourselves down. Because the older some people get, man, it's hard to reach out to them. They feel like they know everything. Right? But the Lord is commanding us to be as children. Read. God. The same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The same is what? The, the same, same is the greatest, greatest kingdom of heaven. Of heaven. Man, the Lord wants humble children, and they're gonna be the greatest in the in the kingdom of heaven, man. Thus saith the Lord, man. Go back to uh, Second Chronicles chapter uh, seven and fourteen. This is the the book of Second Chronicles chapter seven and verse fourteen. Bring it up. If my people, which are called by my name, if my people, the children of Israel, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, shall humble themselves and pray. And what? And, and pray. pray. So the Lord wants us to pray to him, man. Right. The Lord wants us to make supplications to him, man. Give me the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 5. Give me the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 8, man. Bring it out. Bring it out, King. Book of Matthew, chapter 6, and verse number 5. Bring it up. And when thou prayest, when thou what? When thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets. Right? That they may be seen of men. That they may what? That they may be seen of men. Man, we don't gotta pray to be seen of men. We what do we do? Verily I say unto you. They have the reward. Right. But thou, when thou prayest, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. Right. And when thou hast shut thy door, right. pray to thy God, thy father, which is in secret. Right. And thy father, which seeth in secret, 
shall reward thee openly. God. So the Lord, when you pray in secret, the Lord's going to reward you openly, man. Bring right. that out. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 8. Bring it out. I will therefore that men pray. That men what? That, that men, men pray. Read everywhere. Lifting up holy hands without wrath. Lifting what? Lifting, Lifting up holy, holy hands, hands without, without wrath. wrath. Right. So you got to lift up holy hands to heaven when you pray, That's man. Right. Read. Without wrath and doubting. Right. In like manner. Also. That women adore, adore themselves. Uh, drop that, can you bring that up? First Thessalonians 5 and 17. This is the book of First, Th First Thessalonians 5, verse 17. Bring it up. Pray without cease. Pray what? Pray, pray without, without cease. cease. Right, so we got to pray in secret. We got to pray lifting up holy hands. And what did the Lord say? Pray, pray without ceasing. We got to pray without ceasing, man. We got to constantly be oh, uh, supplicating to the Lord, man, asking for forgiveness. Bring that out. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55 and verse 16. Bring it out. As for me, I will call upon God. I will what? I will call upon God. Read. And the Lord shall save me. And the Lord shall what? And the Lord shall save me. That's a mighty thing, man. The Lord wants us to call upon him, and that's how we're going to be saved in these last days. Read. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray. Nah, just when I feel like it. Evening and morning and noon will I pray. Right. So you got to pray to the Lord evening, morning, and noon, man. Right. And that's how you're going to be heard from the Lord, man. Go back to 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, King. You about to go up, up in like three minutes. The book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out. If my people, if my people, humble, which are called by my name, right. shall humble themselves. Shall what? Shall, shall humble, humble themselves. Read. And pray. We just went over prayer, man. And seek my face. And seek my face. Why do we have to seek the Lord's face, man? Because the Lord knew that in these last days, you would forget about it, man. Right? And it's, it's more so because of what we did, man. We, our forefathers and us personally have transgressed the laws of our God. Right. And now that we've been brought into these, the land of our captivities, we forgot who our God is, man. Right. But what did the Lord uh, command us to do? Give me that in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 7. Give me Job chapter 8 and verse 8. Bring it out! It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 7. Bring it out! Remember the days of old. Do what? Remember, Remember the, the days, days of, of old. Three. Consider the years of many generations. Consider the years of many generations, man. Right. Some people only want to go back to damn 1619. Right. That's not when our history began. Read. Ask thy father. Ask thy what? Ask, Ask thy father. father. Right. We don't even know our fathers, man. Right. Read. And he will show thee. And our, our father, first and foremost, is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Right. So we got to seek the father. Right? Bring that out, kid. Job 8 and 8. Read. For inquire, I pray thee of the former age. Do what? I pray thee of the former age. So we got to inquire of the former age, man. Go back to 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. Right up. If my people Israel, which are called by my name, right. shall humble themselves and pray right. and seek my face. Right. And turn from their wicked ways. And do what? And turn from their wicked ways. What's gonna happen? Then I will hear from heaven. Then I will what? Then I will, I will hear, hear from heaven. heaven. So the Lord's gonna hear us, man. Right? When we pray to him, when we humble ourselves, when we seek his face and we seek our forefathers and the law, statutes, and commandments that we transgress, we start keeping them, man. Right. Right? Read. And will forgive their sins. And will what? And, and will forgive, forgive their sins. sins. So the Lord's going to forgive our sins, man. Read, finish that. And will heal their land. And will heal our land, man, because right now our land is defiled, man. And with that, come here, Shala. Come here, Shala. Come here, Shala. Come here, Shala.